So here I have a shape and an outline of the shape. So here's our base shape and another layer with that same shape except with an outline on. So to do that, we can start with a new file, delete this, create a new fill layer. We'll just call this base and we can just make it black. We're going to add a black mask and then let's add a bitmap mask and choose alpha. Let's just do um, square again. Now we have square rectangle. If we change this from UV projection to planar projection and UV wrap to none, so it's not going to repeat and add, put the hard, hardness up to one. So there's no blur or softness. Now we can scale this down. And now we have our shape. Cool. And we could add more on top of that if we wanted, like in the other example. Now, once we have our shape, we need to add an anchor point, which basically will collect everything up to that point to pass to another layer or something. So we just right click the mask, come down to add anchor point and it'll generate its own name. Perfect. So add another fill layer. This is our outline. Then let's just make it red. Right click, um, add black mask. Right click, we want to add a fill. And this grayscale down here, instead of using like a texture or something, we want to use an anchor point. So click that and click our anchor point that we created down here. And now, you can see that it's just the same shape. Now on top of this, we want a filter. And this is a new filter called outline, mask outline. Now, we can adjust this, we can change the curve shape, which, I don't know, play with it and see what it does. Um, oh, let's change it to inside. You could do both if you wanted, I guess. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. And maybe this would be better to do both, but sometimes if you have like a sharp, um, like a sharp, corner on your shape, having the outline be on the outside, we will soften that up. So if you choose inside, it'll keep those shapes uh, sharp. Okay, so now we can change our width and stuff. You can see it's not super clean, like we can still see some of the black, and we can adjust that. So to this fill layer, this is where we're getting our anchor information. We can click down here to levels and just pull this down. If I zoom in, you can see this move in and out. So I'm just going to move that down a bit. Now it should be a lot cleaner. The only problem is now we're getting this very harsh edge. So what I have done is I've added a filter and I just typed in blur. And we can blow that down a bit. And then after that, we can use a levels. And we can clamp this. OK, and there we are. And there is our solid uh, outline. And we can change this. All updates on the fly. Super cool. Um, and the only problem, at least with this example, is you can see stretching at the back. Um, it, you know, the width looks like it's changing from front to back. And the problem here is just simply UV stretching. If you just click uh, F1. If we look at the back, this is this. These are the UVs for the back here, and we can see that it's getting really. Uh, they look perfect on the UV view, but we're seeing that stretching there. And I'm not sure if there's a way to calculate in 3D space as opposed to UV space, but I would bet it would be this mask 
outline that would need updating. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's another method for that, but um, don't have stretching in UV, I guess. <laughs> and if you do, then maybe there's another method. But um, for every anything that doesn't have UV stretching, this is great. So anyway, that's adding outlines to shapes in Substance Painter.